Valentine's Day. I just finished making a cute little card slash envelope thing. My mom loves Valentine's Day so we always write her like little notes. We already got her Valentine's Day present this morning. She's just gonna open her little note. I look so dead. Um, I'm sick right now. I literally have toilet paper by my bed. I also have LA today in like two more hours so I'm gonna start getting ready. It's still sunny outside, so I'm praying that it stays like that all day because my dad is gonna teach me how to drive a stick shift today. I'm gonna give my mom her little note now. But I'm gonna change out of this ballet attire first. So tiny, Bella. I know. <laughs> it's so small. It is so tiny. This is what my mom really got for Valentine's Day. I am happy. See how I, I, I can push it this way up first? And you can just slap it in. You gotta slap it. Not slap it, but you know. It's my goal this year to learn how to confidently drive a stick shift. I don't know if trying to learn on a truck built in the 50s is the best way or easiest way to learn, but here I am spending my Valentine's Day afternoon with my dad, trying my best not to stall or mess anything up on this car. You can't tell by the footage, but everything was going really good and pretty smooth. I was honestly kind of surprised how easy I got the hang of it. And I was feeling pretty confident until up to the point where I had to completely pull over to the side on a busy road. Because of course, the day where I tried to learn how to drive a stick, this happens. We just ran out of gas, so... Good morning, everyone. It's been a couple of days since I last filmed. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a new comforter. Like, look at how cute. They're so pretty. Everything's so cute. Also, I'm drinking out of my new mug. If you guys saw my last video, I painted this mug. It looks so adorable. I really wasn't expecting it to come out cute at all. I'm not doing anything today. I just wanted to sit down and like catch up on some stuff because I keep getting the same questions about school. A lot of you guys have asked if I got in my degree yet. I have not clarified anything, so let's catch up. The answer is no, I have not gotten my degree yet. A lot of you guys know I've been in school for like quite some time now. But right after high school, I started community college. I wasn't entirely sure yet exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to be involved within the medical field. So I took a lot of classes like anatomy, medical terminology, some extra ones that I just wanted to try. I volunteered at a hospital and I loved it. I loved it so much. The only problem is I faint. <laughs> 
I don't like full on faint faint, but it's very blacked out, very woozy, very nauseous. And ever since then, I've realized I cannot handle needles or blood from the vein. After that, I kind of was like, okay, I'll still be within the medical field and do something like radiology. And I was not a fan. Like I wouldn't imagine myself doing that almost every single day for the rest of my life. But I feel like there's really nothing that I find like that gravitates to me. That's something that I want to do that I have a passion for. And it sucks because I feel like there's a lot of people out there who know exactly what they want to do in life. As of right now, I'm taking a break because I'm not entirely sure what I want to do for the rest of my life. I'm barely 22. I have so much time in my life to figure out what I want to do. One day I will get my degree and I will finish school. That is for sure. No matter what, I'm going to. <laughs> Anyways, on another note, tomorrow I'm going to LA for a Marc Jacobs Fragrances event. I'm so freaking excited. I have no idea what to wear. I also need to do my nails because they completely like chipped off. So yeah, that was all for our little talk. I've been like kind of chugging this coffee. of the Marc Jacobs event and now we're gonna head out to Pasadena. I also got some goodies from the event. Got a little bouquet. Before heading home, we took a stop at the Burlington Arcade in Pasadena, a beautiful London inspired alley filled with a few coffee shops and other stores. Seemed like the perfect book study slash hangout area. Okay, I'm gonna practice right now in a little bit driving the truck again. I'm a little scared we're gonna end up on the side of the road, but hopefully we'll be okay. I kind of got a hang of it, but at the same time, it's a little difficult, mainly with the clutch. It's a little hard, especially because it's an old truck. It's not as smooth. You definitely have to use like all your muscle. <laughs> we're gonna go practice right now. Okay, I'm gonna leave right now to go to lunch with Julian. My hair is like a little crazy right now. Ooh, but it's fine. I'm going back to Yava Bakery because it was so freaking good. So yeah, we're gonna have lunch over there and I'm gonna try out more of the bakery stuff. <laughs> o'clock right now. I just showered so that way I can lay in bed because I don't know why I'm so so sleepy. I'm still reading this freaking book. <laughs> this is I think this is the longest it's ever taken me to finish a book and I'm not even finished. I'm not even halfway finished. I read like almost halfway through the book and then I stopped reading it because I was like 
busy doing other stuff. And so when I went back into reading it, I decided to just to reread the whole thing again. But then I stopped reading it <laughs> again. <laughs> Are you still in the show? You wanna say hi? So that's the plan for tonight. I plan to finish this. It's 412, not touching my phone. And we're just gonna read. Sleep, but I made it to page 221. I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night.